I'm Adil Kumar and in this video we'll try to understand how to find first and second derivative for logarithmic function especially when they are given in the quotient form. Now to find the first derivative we can use the quotient rule. We are given y equals to ln x over 1 plus ln x. So the first derivative will be denominator square which is 1 plus ln x whole square derivative of ln x is 1 over x times the denominator which is 1 plus ln x right minus ln x times derivative of this function which is 1 over x is it okay so that becomes the first derivative now we can actually simplify this as equal to so it is 1 over x Let's open this bracket plus 1 over I mean ln x over x minus ln x over x and everything over 1 plus ln x whole square. Now these two terms cancel so we are left with 1 over x so we could write this as 1 over x times 1 plus ln x whole square. Do you see that? So that is the first derivative for us. Now we can find the second derivative of the same. So we'll again apply the quotient rule. You could also apply product rule, right? But we'll apply quotient rule on this. So what we get here in the denominator is x times 1 plus ln x this one is square and whole square correct 1 is in the numerator so the first term derivative is 0 so 0 minus 1 times the derivative of this denominator which is we can apply the product rule once again derivative of x is 1 so we get let's put a bracket here 1 plus ln x whole square right so that is this term plus the derivative of this x times derivative of this will be 2 times 1 plus ln x times the derivative of inside function which is 1 over x is it okay so that is how we can find the second derivative now we can simplify this a bit so we have minus 1 over ln x in the numerator we have this is all negative and we have 1 we could take this common but I'll just keep it simple for the time being I'll just write this as 1 plus ln x whole square plus this x and x cancels so this is 2 times 1 plus ln x divided by x square times 1 plus ln x to the power of 4 is it okay so so that is what you get you could take 1 plus ln x common right so this could be written as negative 1 plus ln x common so you get here 1 plus ln x and here you get plus 2 divided by all this which is x square times 1 plus ln x to the power of 4. Now you can add this terms 1 and 2 and you could write this expression as negative of let me use a different ink push it a bit forward so you have 1 plus ln x times 3 plus ln x divided by x square 1 plus ln x whole to the power of 4. So that becomes the second derivative for you, correct? So that is how we can find first and second derivative of the given function. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.